Hi friends, welcome back to another Tuesday's Treasures. Now on most Tuesdays, I will do Tuesday's Treasures things that I've thrifted, hauled, and I'm gonna share with you guys. But if I don't do Tuesday's Treasures, it will just be some other kind of video. But for the most part, I wanna stick to Tuesday's Treasures. If you're new here, my name is Jen, Jenny, call me Jen. And I like to share all things home decor, styling. My vibe is kind of cottage vintage with a touch of glam. The way I like to share DIYs, home decor hauls, especially thrift hauls, because I'm all about saving a dollar, holla. And so if you guys enjoy that and whatever else I feel like sharing, then come along and join the party. So I have a really fun haul for you guys today. I It's all around me, like literally plopped right here. There's a ton. So I'm just gonna start grabbing and going, grabbing and going, all right? First things first is this cute little tin, 50 cents. You can see my ring light, 50 cents. And it isn't vintage, but it's super cute. Um, so I picked that up, like I said, for 50 cents. My girlfriend, Gina and I, you guys have probably heard her name on Instagram. Gina, Gina. I like to say her name like that because it's obnoxious and I'm obnoxious, but she loves it and always makes her laugh. So want a waiting list at Gypsy and Porn. I talk about them all the time on Instagram and we're hoping to get a booth there. Um, if, but we're getting really impatient. So we're looking around at other places and other options. So these are gonna go to the booth. This is this cute, rusty, crusty pot, 75 cents. It's little. I have no idea what this is. Some kind of a spatula, 75 cents. But if you're collecting like kitchenware and you want something, but if you collect this kind of stuff, it'd be these pieces would be really cute in a collection. This was $1.50 and it says on the back, Bake King. It's just a teeny tiny little um, loaf pan and it's crusty, crusty, rusty. I mean, they look cute together. Alrighty. Next up, along with like kitchen stuff, I've never seen these before ever in my life and they are so cute. These terracotta bread pans. The options with these, you don't have to have them just to bake bread. You can, I got two of them. You could plant succulents in these. You could have them in a windowsill and do like your herbs. Um, they were $2 each and on the underneath, this one's better, I'll show you what it says. 1979, huh, the year I was born. Planned pottery made in Eugene, Oregon. It either says planned, yeah, I think this is planned, planned pottery, 1979. Are these not so cute? These are gonna go to our booth. There's no chips or cracks in them. I'm a huge collector of vintage books. So I found some really cute ones. This one's fairly large. I love when it has like age and patina on the pages. I absolutely love that it says the Victorian age cross, and I can't see the rest, but it says that on the spine. And it's just a really awesome book all on the Victorian age. Um, my mom decorates very Victorian. And I'm kind of, I kind of have some of that going on in my home, just a little bit. This was $5, but it's a big, pretty book. Then I just wanted to show these all together because I like to get books that kind of go together for styling purposes. So Miss Parkington, $3. Has that aging on the pages. That one, Tower Fiction. Serenade by James Kahn. I'm just kind of reading whatever I see here on the book. And that one was $2. This one says The Dramatic Moment by Eugene Waith. Um, this was $3. I just wanted to add a few more books to like my styling and they're great risers and stuff like that. Um, or they look they look really cute and things like this. I also thrifted this. The price tag fell off. I think it was like two dollars this iron little basket but to stack some books in it 
that wire basket will go to the booth as well. Next up is this beautiful matted and framed, this gorgeous ballet portrait. I wanna start collecting some beautiful art portraits and I absolutely adore the frame, the matting, everything. It has the wire hanging piece there. And I don't know if you saw that, but it was $2. I have the perfect piece to display this piece. So this piece right here was $1.50. This iron picture or plate holder. Doesn't that look beautiful? Those two pieces will probably get styled on my mantle. All right, next up are just two china dishes. I picked up two of them and let's see the stamping. It is it's covered by the sticker. Let's see if you guys can. Anyway, I, I have just, a, I have a fairly small collection of little china plates. I'm trying to build up that collection. And then I was thrilled to find one of these stacking plate holders because they look so good holding plates um, to layer them. Like a big one, a middle size, small, and so on. So I picked up this. And the tag fell off of this too, but I'm pretty sure this was just a dollar. Um, the next thing I picked up that's going to go to the booth. And for the most part, I think believe most of my china is going to go to the booth as well. And I'll display on that plate rack. Two crystal. Listen. That's the sound of china, not glass. When it has like that echoing. These were 75 cents each. So beautiful crystal candle holders. Those will also go to our booth. Next up, I found this adorable spring wreath. It just needs to be fluffed. So cute. I don't ever gravitate, gravitate towards this kind of purple periwinkle type color, but I think it's beautiful for spring. It'll be adorable in a booth hanging on a vintage door, on a hook somewhere in our booth. And I think the tag just fell off, but I, let's see. Oh, I remember at the store, she looked at the tag and this was $1.50, but yes, it also fell off. These next pieces I love and I have not decided whether or not I'm going to keep them or they're going to go to the booth. I try to, if I really love something, I try to get it to work in my home and in my space. And if I just can't find the best spot for it, then I it will go to the booth. So these are each a dollar and it looks like somebody painted these. So I have a duck. I absolutely adore the frames too as the texture it was a dollar the artist's name is on here looks like jep i don't know i see like j e m p down there but i got this one with the cute ducky next is this oil painting and it's just some florals in a pot and this one actually says bar, B-A-U-R, or Bauer, down there in the corner. So that one, beautiful. This is probably my favorite of the cow. And of course, while I'm sifting through everything, the shelves and the aisles, I found this adorable plate or picture rack. I found this. And this was $4.00. And then look at how cute I was putting these in it. The only thing I don't like is that this one doesn't look right in it because it goes the different direction, but you get the idea. So super cute. And then I thought, oh, this looks cute too. Kind of, sort of. I kind of stuck this wreath in here. And I think this wreath looks really cute in farmhouse with the duck and the cow. 
So this would be cute on like the perfect narrow wall. And as I mentioned, I have not decided if I want to keep that because it's so dang cute or if it's going to go to the booth because either, either way, it'd be cute styled in the booth or it'd be cute somewhere in the house. All right. I love baskets and I have quite the collection that will go to our booth. And I love this one. Those big ring little handles. It's like in flawless condition. It's not, it's not falling apart anywhere. And this was $3 super cute to hold a couple rolled out thinner blankets or it'd be cute in a bathroom with some rolled up hand towels or some stacked magazines. Love that. Next, next item I found is this adorable enamel teapot. It has some age, it has some chipping. It was $1.50. I love the spout. It's just adorable. I just need to give it a good bath because it's dirty. All right, the grand finale. I need to back up. This is staying with me in my house. It's a giant bird cage. It has the little latch here to open and close it. The top but it is probably three feet tall, I would say. And I love that it has some chippiness. I love the kind of turquoisey blue color. However, to make it more my style, I'm gonna get out some of my green chalk paint. I'm just gonna lightly brush green all over it. And I already know where I'm gonna put it. And I will share how I style and everything with you guys and where it's going. This big metal bird cage was $15. touch-up paint isn't the same color they never can get it right they either get it a shade too dark or shade too light so what I'm about to do will help disguise that annoyance so let me share y'all I've never liked anything in this space until today it is so dang cute over here oh my gosh I've had this little chippy stool thingy for years it's been sitting out on my back patio and the weather has obviously made it more weathered and chippy and i just brought it in here because i need a little bit of height so i put it on there and then i stacked it up with some vintage books i've collected obviously the green looks better you can still see you can still obviously see um blue popping through here and there but for the most part it's green and then this floral arrangement is also a thrifted item. And I just stuck it in there. I might add, when I find some more, like two more books, just to bring this up a little bit more. But honestly, it doesn't need it. I love this whole space now. And then I added the picture or plate holder that's really pretty and ornate right here with the beautiful ballet picture that I thrifted. I have that over here.
thank you guys for tuning into my video today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys are alerted with my next video. Love to you all. I appreciate you guys. I don't have a channel if it's not for you guys. So thank you and cheers.